Yo, what's up guys, Gordo here, back at a new video, in today's video, your boy is back with another Blocks Fruits video. And in today's video, I'll be ranking all the Awakened Devil Fruits in Blocks Fruits. This video is going to be very fun, so make sure to watch till the end, and if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. It helps me a lot and it is greatly appreciated. And also while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well, because I'm on the journey to hitting 10k subscribers. So yes, without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. Okay, so here we are on the list. I've got every single Awakened Devil Fruit right here as you guys can see so let's start off with the cheapest awakened devil fruit that is flame in my opinion flame is one of the best awakened devil fruits in the game because it is very very good for farming and pvp as most of you guys would know that flame is like one of the most spammable devil fruits in the game so basically if you do not know how to combo with your devil fruit or stuff like that you guys can use this devil fruit to get a lot more better at the game and also for new players this devil fruit is really good as well because it is one of the cheapest ones and one of those devil fruits which come in stock a lot so yes in my opinion this double fruit should definitely go into the really good tier then the next double fruit we have on the list is ice ice is a really good type of double fruit in my opinion as well because it has a lot of stun capabilities and in case you guys don't know what stun means a stunning double fruit is a really good one in blocks fruit because you can just basically trap your opponent at a spot and then you guys can do your combos or deal damage and stuff like that and that can actually give you the win i've seen a lot of pros using this double fruit and i've seen a lot of them doing the one tap combos and a side note this devil fruit is really cheap as well also this devil fruit is one of those which are really good for swords as well because as i already told you you guys can stun your opponent and then you guys can use your combos and as you guys know swords only have two moves so basically if you guys have a good combo you guys can use both of those swords moves and the other player would be very very low so ice in my opinion is really good also for grinding ice is really good as well because the moves are pretty versatile so you guys can farm bosses and stuff like that also some of the ice moves have really short cooldowns so you guys can use it in pvp as well and in case if you guys like a devil fruit which has mobility on the ground not flying this devil fruit is the one to use and i think personally it has one of the most coolest traveling moves in the game but yes we've talked a lot about ice let's move on to the next devil fruit but this deserves to be in the must use tier okay so the next devil fruit is my personal favorite dark dark no me dark is one of the most strongest devil fruits in the game as most of you guys would know basically every single pro or maybe every single low tier pro uses this devil fruit whenever i join blocks fruits there is at least like five or six people who are using dark whether they're using swords with it guns with it or even their devil fruits alone this devil fruit awakened is really really powerful and also is pretty cheap i personally like this devil fruits a lot because it has the teleportation move which you guys can use to bait your opponents out and also it has some of those stunning moves as well this devil fruit is really good for combos because you guys have like two or three moves which can stun and i would say this one is the best ones for gun use users as well and in case if you guys are using SDM rifle this devil fruit is the one for you because you guys can stun your opponent and do the smoke move and then the person is like permanently stuck there for a bit and you guys can do a lot of combos with that so basically this devil fruit is the best one for that also for grinding this devil fruit is good as well because the moves are pretty aoe so you guys won't miss them a lot and with them you can also target a couple of different targets so basically it's a really good devil fruit for farming and pvp so it definitely deserves to be in the must use section then we have the next devil fruit light as you guys would already know this devil fruit has the fastest flight in the game and i would say is the second best devil fruit for grinding this devil fruit is pretty unique and has really really versatile moves to attack with a lot of people use this devil fruit for farming but some also use it for pvp i actually like this devil fruit for pvp because the divine arrow is really good for pvp it stuns your opponent for like a second and you guys can do a bit of combos with that and the third move the c move is really good as well because it makes you guys go into the air and combo your opponent and then you you guys can use the divine arrow after that to deal damage if you guys want i can make a video on combos of lights because i know how to use this devil fruit a lot but uh yeah other than that this devil fruit is really good for farming in my opinion you guys shouldn't use this devil fruit for pvp if you guys are new to the game and you guys do not know how the pvp system works because if you guys just go against a dark user or a ice users you guys are going to get clapped and i'm not capping you're gonna get your shit clapped but if you guys are using it make sure to be careful and i would say this devil fruit is pretty cheap as well because it goes for a price of 650,000 belly. I would rank it at usable for the PvP, but I would rank it at must use for the farming. So basically, I'm going to be ranking it at really good. Okay, so other than that, we have the other devil fruit which is the magma. Magma is my personal favorite logia type devil fruits by looks. It has one of the most coolest moves in the game. Like the magma is just so freaking cool in my opinion and I think I really really like this devil fruit. 
It has pretty good versatile moves and you guys can use them for farming and PvP. I would say this double fruit is a farming type double fruit rather than the PvP one. This double fruit comes for a price of 850,000 belly and I would say it doesn't come in stock that often so it's pretty pretty hard to obtain. But once you get your hands on it make sure to awaken it and use it wisely. In my opinion if a person knows how to use magma in a PvP fight or stuff like that I would say that is a pearl in blocks fruits. But yeah there is not a lot to say about this double fruit other than that. So I'm going to be ranking it at really good it does not compare to the other devil fruits that i've ranked at must use but i would say it deserves to be on the really good section okay so now we have done more than half of the video the next devil fruit we have is tremor also known as quake quake is one of the most uniquest devil fruits in the game and will make your game lag if you have a bad pc this devil fruit is really hard to deal with and has a lot a lot of different combos that you guys can use to attack your opponents and in case if you guys are doing 2v2s or like a tournament, this double fruit is the one to use because the last move of this double fruit is really really OP for that. It has the tsunami move which will attack a lot of players in the zone and is a really 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 good double fruit move for dealing damage. But there is one bad part about this double fruit and that is this double fruit is really really bad for farming. It does not have a traveling move, all of the moves are AoE and pushes the opponent back so you guys can't actually grind with this double fruit. So yeah, I would not suggest you guys to use this for farming but if you guys are max level then you guys should use this double fruit for pvp but yes this should definitely go into the really good tier okay so let's talk about the third last double fruit of the video and that is buddha buddha is a really really good double fruit for farming and raid in my opinion this double fruit is a really unique one and a very versatile one in the game as most of you guys would know this double fruit or have used it in the past this double fruit is the best for raids because you guys just need to punch your opponents and they will die really easily and it actually gives you a lot of health you guys receive damage reduction which is really good as well but yes in my opinion buddha is really good and the other downside of this devil fruit is that this devil fruit cannot be obtained really easily it's a really rare devil fruit and does not often come into the stock but when it does you guys should actually buy it it comes for a million dollars i think so or like 1.1 million around that range it is available but yes this devil fruit is the best one for farming in my opinion you guys will level up so fast that you guys would not even know it but other than that this devil fruit is really really good and definitely deserves to be in the must use section then we have string string is a pretty underrated awakened devil fruits and is a really really good one in my opinion it does a lot of damage and has a lot of one tap combos it also can be used for farming but i would not recommend you guys to do so it doesn't have mobility but it has a lot of high damaging moves which are really really good for you but yeah only the pros can use it in pvp a noob cannot use string in a pvp match because it's a really hard devil fruit to pvp with okay then we have the last devil fruit of the video which is Rom Rumble. Rumble is a really really good type of double fruit in the game and can be used for farming and PvP. Well, the awakened version of Rumble is not a good farming type double fruit in my opinion. But yes, it can be used for farming, but I would not recommend you guys to because it pushes the opponent back. But for PvP, this double fruit is really good because it has three different teleports and also has really good AoE moves which you guys can stun your opponent with. This is also another stunning type of devil fruit so you guys would know that swords and gun goes really good with this devil fruit. And I would say this devil fruit is the best one for guns. So yeah I'm going to be ranking it at really good but it does not deserve to be any higher than that. So yeah that was all the devil fruits in the video and in the game itself so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and also if you guys are down there make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. We're on the journey to 10k subscribers so it will be greatly appreciated. But yes, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.